Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. How are you all doing? I know there's a lot going on around the world and also at the same time not a lot going on. The world is at a standstill kind of. Not for everyone but still for a lot of us. So I thought let's cheer you all up, give you some ideas on what all to do. Everyone's going through a lot, the world's going through a lot. Uh, there's been different kind of news, different kind of information circulating all around. But while you do wash your hands, keep your social distance and take all the necessary precautions, one of the most important things is to stay away from false information. So I'll link down the official WHO links below where you can find the official information regarding Corona and everything related to it. I've been working from home for about 10 days now and there are a lot of things that you can do during your work from home or during your home isolation or during your time when you're socially distancing yourself and staying at home and maybe probably getting bored because we are not very used to just staying at home by ourselves. So without wasting much time, let's get into the video. So to start with folks, well, these are multiple points, I believe about 10-15 of them and these points, some of them you might know, some of them you might not know, some of them you would want to do, some of them you might not want to do. I would suggest do not skip the video, watch it until the end, there could be something later in the video that could interest you and if it does, please write in the comment section below. Starting off, the first is to get back to our hobbies during our work life, work days, weekdays, we keep, we say we don't have time and we forget our hobbies but we do not spend enough time on to exploring our hobbies. I feel this is one of the best times that you are at home and when you have nothing else to do, maybe get back into some of your hobbies. Like my hobbies are stamp collection, we're doing decoupage which is a French or an Italian art. So I like doing that, I like doing some craft works. So I am trying to spend some more time with my hobbies and this is really a good stress buster as well when you see a product or a final thing done by you or something that you like to do. Second thing which I am sure all of us are already doing and which goes without saying, however I would still say it, cringy. Yes, I would still say it's spend time with your family. We have, we are so addicted to our devices, we are so addicted to our mobile, laptops, or going out that we do not spend time as family. A whole family is spending time together. This is a really good time for that. So spend time with them and just reconnect. Spend some more quality time, do things together, play board games. You get the point, right? Spend time with your family as a family. So my next point is listening to podcasts a lot of us do listen to podcasts maybe you get bored we keep doing a lot of chores around the day and i like listening to podcasts when i am doing something for example i am cleaning up i'm doing the dishes or i'm cooking or i'm cleaning up at that time i like listening to podcasts and most of the time i listen to podcasts on youtube i really like this one podcast called the financial diet these are really nice podcasts, they, uh, they talk on really helpful topics that would help you financially take control of your finances. It has helped me a lot and I really like listening to them. Another podcast that I lis listen to a lot is Beer Biceps. He gets different people on his shows all the time and different people have different experiences to share so I really love that as well. You can choose a podcast of your choice, I'll link these two in the description box, so check out if you want to listen to them. Related to podcasts, uh, the other point is reading. Of course, not all of us are readers, but it's a good thing to read. If you're not a reader, maybe it's the best time to start reading now. You could have a couple of any book. If you don't want to use a physical book, I am more of a physical book person, you can go ahead and read some online books or audio books so audible or amazon kindle is a really good way to do that otherwise other than that there are also a lot of books available free in online version you can just write the book's name pdf search on google you might find some free versions of those books finishing off your reading list for readers and for non-readers starting your reading journey what better than that now my next point is something that maybe doesn't come naturally to all of us but the next would be arranging your wardrobe a lot of us are guilty about it. I am guilty about it that I don't keep my wardrobe arranged. It is clean, however, it might not be the most arranged or organized wardrobe of all times. So use this time to organize your wardrobe. It can also help you declutter some things. 
it can also help you realize the things that you have in your wardrobe and you have not used for a while and you might want to use it so go ahead find those hidden treasures in your wardrobe because i am sure all of us have those treasures that we bought and we forgot about and we never used so find them keep them ready for when all this ends and you can show the world your all hidden treasures my next point on what you can do during this time is to learn something new you can learn to cook if you don't know you can learn to embroider if that's what you're interested in you can learn some online courses you can watch online videos to learn from them it totally depends on your interest what you're interested into and it might be something that you are always procrastinating to learn about a lot of free learning resources available online i'll link some of them down below there are some sites which give you 15 days free learning trial you can use them or 30 days trials as well you can use them and study there or you can try something new moving on my next point is take care of yourself i know this time has been given to slow down to take care of yourself so that you don't fall ill but most importantly take care of yourself in a way that you have not taken before it could be taking care of your skin taking care of your hair taking care of your mental health a meditation is really good way to day to slow down to calm yourself and to really focus on things that you want to so maybe try practicing meditation now that you are spending more time at home now before we move on further into the video if you have liked the points until now please go ahead and subscribe to the channel it would really mean a lot to me so moving into the video further my next point is declutter you can declutter a lot of things like i mentioned arranging your wardrobe while arranging your wardrobe you can declutter you can declutter your shoe rack keep holding a lot of things in our drawers you can declutter from that we keep holding a lot of things in our shoe racks you can declutter from that you can declutter from your kitchen you can even declutter your devices we are all guilty of taking thousands of pictures and keeping it on our cell phones and then at the end of it we just run out of storage and it's not just about storage in general things decluttered are uh, give you a clear space of mind so go ahead clean those pictures that you don't want or those duplicate selfies that probably have no use anymore those apps that have stayed on your phone without seeing any use without being open for last 6 or 8 months why we are connecting with our family of course we are connecting with the family that we are living with our immediate family in the same house you can still use this chance to connect with your family who is not necessarily living with you these could be your relatives these could be your cousins just anybody it could even be your friends not just family friends colleagues ex colleagues connect with them call them video call them and see what's been going on so let's go back and connect with our folks being on lockdown does not mean that you just have to forget about all your travel plans right this lockdown is not for forever this social distancing won't be for forever right if we do it right right now there will be a time when it will end and we'll finally start going out so keeping that in mind why not plan your next vacation that will cheer you up of course and while talking about that go ahead check out my video here about how i planned my sri lanka trip in under 30000 and also some glimpses of my sri lanka trip here i'll also mention them in the description box below plan a couple of trips i am sure one of them is surely going to happen and if you have liked the video until now like it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel another thing since i have been someone who always always focuses on the finances One thing is a lot of us are enrolled into a lot of different services subscriptions that we don't use we are just enrolled we have been paying for it and our cards get auto debited for it so we are pretty much wasting money on those services check all the subscriptions that you have check which ones you don't need anymore unsubscribe from them and there are chances that if you have not used a service and you have been deducted the whatever subscription amount is for that money if you reach out to the support team they generally refund that amount to you so maybe get that refund if you're not using any service that could help you save some money while you are at it and the next point again in line with my point that i said before is clear off your bills there are bills that we have been holding for a long time credit card bills we have not taken care of in the past uh, electricity bill internet bill anything just check the bills dues that you have to pay pay them off and check your bank statement 
go through your bank statements for last six months see what are your spending habits where you have been wasting money if at all where you have been spending a lot of money which part of your expense takes most of your salary check all of that it will give you a better insight into your spending habits into how you are saving your money how better you can save your money and that will also help you with your money goals maybe for the year if you had any if you didn't have it's never a bad idea to save some money to realize how have you been spending if you are one of those very organized kinds you can maybe create an excel sheet for yourself and create a graph do everything that you had kept for later everything for which your answer was i don't have the time to do that do it right now whatever the case just do everything that you have procrastinated for the longest time think of things that you have not done in the longest time do that think of things that you have been wanting to do for a very long time and you have not done that do that if there are things that you have been doing which is not a part of any of these points do mention them below if there are any of the points that you really liked mention those also below i'd love to get that feedback also share this video with your friends it never costs to share and it never costs to subscribe so go ahead subscribe it's free so while you take care of yourself don't forget to watch my other videos all of them are on my channel and i will see you next week until then take care